Uh, my name is Debbie Pendleton. I um, was formerly the Assistant Director for Public Services at the Alabama Department of Archives and History. Um, I retired at the end of 2016. And um, that's when I, my work, through my work at the Alabama Department of Archives and History and through one of my friends, um, I got involved with the March Quilts Project. Um, for the unsung heroines, I decided I wanted, I knew for immediately that I wanted to focus on Eula McGill. Um, Eula was a union organizer from um, Alabama. She actually was born in Georgia, but she moved to Alabama at an early age. Uh, went to work in a cotton mill in uh, Gadsden when she was 14 years old. Uh, this would have been in the 1920s. Um, she was a force of nature. I met her when her uh, later years in the 1980s. And she actually is the person that got me really interested in Alabama history. The reason I became a historian and archivist really is Eula McGill. Because um, I didn't know that things like that existed in Alabama history. Um, but she was a, she started out say, in the 1920s working in the mills. She moved to Birmingham. She eventually became a union organizer. She was very active in the union in the 1930s and actually went to the White House in 1936 uh, with other textile workers as a guest of um, um, Eleanor Roosevelt uh, for the Women's Trade Union League. Um, Women's Trade Union League um, convention and she stayed there uh, at the White House. But she spent the rest of her life as a union organizer with textile workers and the Amalgamated Clothing Workers Union. She loved to sing and I interviewed her many times and she loved to sing songs and one of her favorite songs was There Once Was a Union Made. So I just thought, well, that's something simple I can do. I can embroider those uh, words to that song. Um, and then I found the Amalgamated Clothing Workers um, circle pen and she, she was a very classy woman. She wore, of course, um, all union made, made in the USA clothes all the time. And she always looked wonderful. And I'm sure that she had those circle pins. I wish it was hers, but it wasn't, but it was one I found. Um, but um, so I embroidered her name and um, the dates that she lived and a way to recognize her and all of her contributions to Alabama women. 